Hello, how are you guys? Good morning. Yeah, natumai kwamba mnaendelea fiti. Yeah, pia si tuko poa kabisa, tunaendelea vizuri. Na kila kitu kwa fiti. Najua kwamba nimepotea kidogo, but all in all naendelea vizuri. Na kila kitu kwa poa. So, kuna mambo mbili ningeta kuongelea siku ya leo. Moja ni kuhusu commission na moja kuhusu hire card. First ningeta tuweza kuanza mambo na commission. So kutokana na venye hali ya uchumi na mambo venye imabadilika kwa nchi yetu na pamoja na nchi zingine zote shilingi yetu imechapwa kiboko imechapwa kiboko na dola imechapwa kiboko na riali dirham hizo pesa zote zimechapwa kitu na kutokana na hiyo napata kwamba eh, hizi agencies most of these agencies venye zinafanya kazi ya yeah? wana deal na dola. So, wakitapo kidola na wana wanaongeza shilingi. So ndio maana unaona shilingi imepanda. So unapata kwamba kazi ambayo ulikuwa unalipa around 150 inapanda 170, 160, hata zingine 180, hata zingine 200. So guys, wakati unapoona maybe unalipishwa hivi na hivi, jua kwamba shilingi yenu imechapwa kiboko wewe hujawaiona. So hivyo ndio ningetaka kusema so guys ukipata kazi ama upate maybe ile nafasi ni ngumu try another way you can try maybe Saudi Saudi commission zao zinakuanga chini na wasi wasiogope kwenda maybe kazi Saudi provided kazi ya kampuni hata wenye wanaenda kazi za nyumba wasiogope mtu ajui bahati yake iko wapi yeah? na venye utajibeba siku za kwanza hivyo ndivyo maybe kazi yako itakuwa second ni mambo na hire card so wasi wenye wanataka kuja ama kusafiri huku kwa kutumia hire card ya yeah? hii mambo ya haya eh, iko na kuna design ambayo unaweza itumia na watu wenye wanaweza faidika sana na kutumia hii haya sana ni madem kwa nini wasi wengi wanajidanganya ati kwamba wakikuja huku na haya watapata kazi hiyo ni big x ya yeah? provided si kampuni inakuleta ukifikiria kukuja hapa kutafuta kazi majority ya wasi ambao walikuwa hapa World Cup wanaweza attest na waseme wengi wao walijaribu kutafuta kazi na kutransfer kutoka kwa ile kampuni but ukiwa na haya haya si visa na visa kama ukuja hapa na visa hauwezi especially visa ya kazi hauwezi kutransfer kuchange kwa hii visa na kuingia kwa kazi hata ukipata kazi lazima u exit So kuna wasi wengi ambao wanafikiria kwamba wanaweza kuja hapa na haya hata wengine wanachanganywa na na marafiki ama wengine wanachanganywa na wanachanganywa na wanacha, wengine wanachanganywa na nani? Wengine wanachanganywa na ma agent kwamba ukikuja hapa na haya utapata kazi. My friend, my sisters, my brothers. Mtu mwenye anaweza saidika kukuja hapa na haya maybe ni dem. Sababu dem anaweza ingia kazi na anaweza kuja hapa abangaize kidogo atafuta kazi ya nyumba na aingie but boy kuongea ukweli ataingia kazi gani ataenda kufanyia nani kazi so mambo kama hayo unafaulu jiulize tena haya kuja hapa na haya ina consequences zake kumbuka hii haya inatumika hadi 2021 iishe yeah maybe kama ita extendiwa hatujui maybe wanaweza tumia hiyo kama njia yao ya kupeana visitor visa So kitu kingine unafaa kujua ni hire card venye inatumika. Kwanza lazima uwe na ticket ya kukuja na kurudi. Maybe utapata ni around 50,000. Lazima uwe na pesa ya yeah, yako ya matumizi. Ya yeah, maybe uonyeshe pesa fulani ndio haya yako iwe approved. Lazima uonyeshe accommodation yenye utakuwa unaishi. Maybe ile inaweza kukost. Ya yeah. eh, utaonyesha kama ni hoteli very expensive kama ni nini uh -huh. lazima uonyeshe maybe lazima uwe na pesa ya chakula ukifika hapa utakuwa unakula nini yeah. lazima uwe na hiyo pesa kingine lazima uwe nayo ni pesa ya taxi kumbuka huu msimu hauwezi tembea ati upige uh -huh. ni ngumu sana so lazima ujue kwamba unahitaji pesa ya taxi chakula kadi wifi hizo zote uweke pamoja pia lazima uwe na pesa ya insurance insurance ya health insurance certificate yenye utapewa lazima iwe approved maybe na embassy na nini so ndio uweze ndio nini yako iwe approved so guys wakati unapochagua kutumia hire card kukuja hapa be very careful na ujue chini unafanya 
sababu niko very sure ukikuja hapa na haya ukae one month ukitafuta kazi daily utatumia more than 150 kupanda hadi 200 niko 100% sure na kitu ninasema unless ukuwe kuna partner ama mzee ambaye atakuja hapa akupe kama ni room for free akupe kama ni food na kushikilie hiyo itakuwa better for you but kitu nyingine ningetaka kusema pia eh, kuna wase wenye wako na haya kumbuka hii haya wakati wewe ni resident wa Qatar kama mimi nina haya yangu hiyo haya yangu maybe naweza invite wase ya na nitafute accommodation kwenye nitawa host but mimi ile haya yangu haisiwezi tumia mimi mwenyewe kuingia but rafiki yangu naweza mvuruta nayo so ile haya unapata ina code tatu hizi code zinamaanisha unaweza invite watu watatu kando na wewe so mwe wanne so unaweza invite rafiki rafiki mwingine na mwingine ya na ukiwa invite eh, jua kwamba zile vitu kanuni na sheria lazima zifuatwe so in case we na more question about haya enda pale kwa haya na ujueniaje so pia hizi haya zinauzwa hizi haya zinauzwa na zina ukora mingi sana wase zina kuna ukora mingi zinatumika kwa hizi haya so be very careful guys na usiweze kuuziwa kitu ambayo maybe haitakusaidia so chenye nataka kusema ni kwamba be very careful na chochote ukifanyacho usidanganywe na mse kama ni kazi ukifeel maybe hauna commission ya kutosha kazi najua zimekuwa chache ndio maana zinakuwa expensive then commission commission ya hizi kazi inakuwa kwamba inapanda kutokana na venye hakuna kazi na mambo zingine so guys i wish you all the best muweze kusubscribe na kushare eh, kushare eh, jina ni Jimmy K kwa wenye mmejiunga nasi hivi karibuni endeni muangalie video zingine hapo najua kwamba nimekuwa nikipotea but najua with time nitarudi back na kila kitu iko poa so haya be very careful ukitumia haya kukuja hapa heza kukokost bure na urudi hivyo kitu nyingine ningetaka mnote ni hivi wase wenye wanataka kuja na haya kuna wase wengi sana ma boys ambao walibaki after world cup hata madem madem tunaweza sema wana bahati nimesema wanaweza fanya kwa muarabu na mtu apate elfu mbili zake but kijana vijana wanateseka na huku industry area walikuja huku world cup ikaisha wakapewa package yao nzuri wakapewa pesa zao but wakasema mimi siendi mahali siendi Kenya sasa wametumia pesa zimeisha kazi hakuna usijidanganye ati utakuja hapa na haya ati upate kazi hapa hakuna kazi inapatikana hivyo hizi na kazi huko employers si kama Kenya ati utamwandika mtu hivi hivi huko anaangalia ID ataangalia nini ataangalia mambo mengi na maybe pia wataangalia size ya mwili nini yani mambo mengi so be very careful wakati unapsikia wasee wana decide kusema kitu wasee wengi walikuja hapa after world cup wakafanya kazi yao vizuri ikaisha waka decide ku kemboi lakini sasa hii wanateseka so usikuwe mmoja wa wasi ambao watarudi hapa waanze ku spend chenye uko nacho kidogo na maybe ungetumia kwenda maybe kwa agency na kila kitu iweze kuwa catered for na uweze kufanya kazi so nawatakia all the best muweze ku view videos kama wewe ni mgeni naweza uliza swali yako hapo kwa comment section uweze kusema chenye maybe ungetaka tuweze kuangalia na kila kitu itakuwa poa. Na watakia all the best muweze kusubscribe, kushare video zangu na chenye mimi ushare ni mambo yenye nimeona, experience ya mambo zenye nimepitia na mambo yenye mimi najua. Ya? Yeah? Hii advice na wapea ile advice ya ile jamaa wa mtaani. Hiyo ndiyo napeana. So, usichukulie hii kama ni ligo, kutaka mambo ligo, kuna watu wengi wanaweza kukua advice. But na watakia all the best vijana msigive up tafuteni kazi tafuteni kazi eh yeah, hapana kaa nyumbani pale na ka saving kako kale kadogo uko nako tafuta kazi saudia kuna kazi inatokelezea za makampuni tafuteni tembeleeni hizo agencies na mambo itakuwa poa natakia all the best tuongee baadaye inshallah yeah all the best guys